our tutorial Arbitrage Pricing Theory Model. Asset pricing models consist of estimating asset expected return through its risk premium linear relationship with factors portfolio's expected risk premiums and macroeconomic factors. This topic is part of investment portfolio analysis with our course. Feel free to take a look at course curriculum by clicking the link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Arbitrage pricing theory, or APT, consists of estimating asset expected return through its risk premium linear relationship with market risk premium and macroeconomic factors starting from asset expected excess return. For full reference, I recommend that you read Stephen Ross, The Arbitrage Theory of Capital Asset Pricing published in the Journal of Economic Theory in 1976. As a formula, the expected asset return through the arbitrage pricing theory model is equal to a risk-free rate of return plus a beta-1 coefficient multiplied by the market risk premium as the difference between the expected market return minus the risk-free rate of return plus a beta-2 coefficient multiplied by the macroeconomic factor. In this case, included as an educational example, therefore not fixed and can be modified according to your needs, we have the expected change in CPI. CPI is the consumer price index and the change in CPI is considered inflation when positive or deflation when negative, plus the expected asset excess return through the corresponding arbitrage pricing theory model. Great, so let's go into our studio so that we can study arbitrage pricing theory with greater detail. Excellent, so here we are within our studio. In this tutorial, we'll be working within our tutorial, APT, or arbitrage pricing theory, multiple factors model code file. The first step within the tutorial is to load its packages. For this tutorial, we'll be using XTS package and we load it by using library function and within it the package name. So we select that code line and then we click run or control enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. The next step is to create our corresponding APT multiple factors models data. So we create it using a data object and we do so with the formula read.csv and within it we have the following the name of the data file apt multiple factors models data dot txt as a plain text file with dot csv or comma separate values stored within the working directory comma header equals to true so we select that code line there and then we click run or control enter on the keyboard which is equivalent so notice this created a data object within the global environment as a data frame so if we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon it opens the data object for us and within this data object we have four columns, date, spy.rf, mkt.rf, and cpi. Regarding dates, as we can see, we have dates with a monthly frequency from the beginning of 2007 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 10 years of data or 120 observations for each of this time series. spy.rf corresponds to the asset risk premium, which is the difference between SPY's arithmetic monthly returns minus the corresponding monthly risk-free rate of return. SPY is the ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. Then we have MKT.RF, which corresponds to the market risk premium. Therefore, we have the market portfolio's arithmetic monthly returns minus the corresponding monthly risk-free rate of return. And then we have within CPI column the monthly change in CPI or consumer price index as mentioned previously. This is an arithmetic type of return and that corresponding change when positive corresponds to inflation, when negative corresponds to deflation. So let's go back into the code file. 
And the next step is we're going to convert that data frame into an XTS, which is an extensible time series. And we do so at the following row by overriding the data object. And it's going to be an XTS. So that's why we have XTS function. And from data, we're going to select columns two to four, and we're going to order by equals as date with capital D data at column one. So again, we select the code line and click run. So notice that now we have an XTS type of object, and if we open the data, we see that now the dates became the index. So now that we have the data ready, we can continue with the calculation of the APT or arbitrage pricing theory multiple factors models calculation. For this, we'll be using summary function so that we can print the result of a linear regression with multiple independent or explanatory variables. So we have LM function and within it, first of all, we have the dependent or explained variable. And as we can see, we have a data object and with the dollar sign, we are getting SPY.RF or the asset risk premium. And this is being explained by and then as independent or explanatory variables, we have first of all data and also with the dollar sign, we have MKT.RF, the market risk premium, plus data and with the dollar sign, we get CPI. That's the corresponding change in CPI that when positive, it's inflation, when negative, deflation. So we select that code line there, click run or control enter on the keyboard. And notice that here within the console, it printed that linear regression results. So we have right here at the top, the corresponding formula, and then we can see the results for those coefficients. Regarding those coefficients, the intercept is the corresponding models alpha, the expected asset excess return on top of, a, of its exposure to the market risk premium and the macroeconomic factor, which in this case was only included as an example for educational purposes. Therefore, it can be modified according to your needs. Then we have at the following row data with the dollar sign MKT.RF or the market risk premium corresponding coefficient. That's the beta one from the corresponding slides. And this describes the linear relationship between the asset risk premium and the market risk premium. And last, we have the third coefficient and with its corresponding name data with a dollar sign CPI, and that corresponds to the linear relationship between the asset risk premium and the change in CPI or consumer price index, as mentioned previously, when positive inflation, when negative deflation. Excellent. So now that we finished studying arbitrage pricing theory, multiple factors models calculation, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.